Hiya, Hannah here and welcome to week one, day two of the Zentangle mini sessions. So today the materials we need are a black fine liner pen and if you don't have one of those just a black biro will do. A black pencil, an earbud and a white square of card or paper. Now if you haven't got um, a white square of card or paper then you can use a notepad and just draw a square into it. So if you want to go and pause the video, get the materials and then come back and we'll start. So we're going to start off using the pencil and like we did in the session yesterday, we're just going to draw a line to form a border around the inside of each side of the square. And you'll notice that I didn't use a ruler. You don't need to, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And then we're going to draw a series of lines using our pen. Now, I'm going to start in the middle. And the reason for that is then I can divide these two sides as equally with my eye without measuring. And then I'm going to just turn it upside down and I'm going to repeat it that way. So we've now got three vertical lines inside that pencil border. I'm then going to turn it to the side and I'm actually going to repeat the same again by starting off with a line in the centre and then using my eye rather than a ruler I'm going to draw a line to the right I'm then going to turn the tile upside down and I'm going to draw another straight line. So now we've got the basic grid pattern and this tangle is very very easy and I'm going to colour in one of the squares and I've actually moved to a thicker nibbed pen. The reason being is I'm trying to colour in as quickly as I can but you can slow down and take your time and colour. Then I'm going to miss the square next to it and I'm then going to colour the one next door but one if you like and you'll notice that as I'm colouring I'm turning the tile around the little white square of card around so it's comfortable for me Okay, so now we're going to move to the next row down and I'm going to miss the one that's directly next to it and I'm going to colour that one in. And as I say, I'm going much quicker than I would normally do on this. You can take the time and slow down as much as you want to. And once you've mastered this tangle you can then choose different colours to colour it in. So I'm going to miss the one next door to it and the one that's next door to but one I'm going to colour in again. Okay, so moving down to row three, I'm going to repeat exactly what I did on row one. I'm going to colour in this one and I'm going to colour in that one. And if I am going too quickly for you, just pause the video until you're all caught up. I 
I went over the line there. Good job. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I've finished on row three. I've just got row four left and you've probably guessed it. I'm going to repeat what was in row two. So I'm just going to turn it around this way and I'm going to colour in the first one. And then repeating the same as row two, I'm going to colour in the final square. And you'll notice now it looks like a checkerboard for a game of chess or drafts, or as my brother used to say, giraffes. So there you go. That's pretty much it. It's very easy. Now we're going to switch to add some shading. And when we did the shading yesterday, you remember I said don't hold the pen up, that's pencil up, that's because we want to control the amount of pencil. So I'm turning the pencil to its side and I'm gently putting a line of pencil just around the outside. In fact, it's almost on the border of the original line I drew in pencil at the start. And then we're going to get the earbud. I'm using the one that I used yesterday. And I'm just gently doing little circles to move that pencil line out. And you'll notice that by doing it gently, you can control how far the pencil line smudges come in. Now, I think the smudging is the best part. Not only is it good fun, but also it adds a level of dimension to it. And what I mean by that is it no longer looks flat. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit better so you can see that. And that is finished for this particular tangle. Now all we have to do is put our initial on it. So I'm going to put my initial here. And because my name is spelt the same forward and back, I'm going to put an H and then that line there for an A, that line there for an A, it also is the same with the N and then two dots. And now it looks like the Starship Trooper from Star Wars. So that's it for today. I'm going to show you some other designs. So you don't actually have to draw the lines straight. You can draw them on the diagonal. You can draw the lines even closer together so they look smaller. And you'll notice that on this one and on this one here, both of them, I've not done a straight edge. And I think they look a little bit like a pillow. So there are alternatives from drawing the straight line. So I hope you've enjoyed today. And if you can take some photographs and send them over, that would be great. And hopefully I will speak to you tomorrow when we're doing our next tangle. Speak to you soon. Bye.